Hey guys, what's going on today? This is me, Dal Su, back with some more Banished Mountain Man Challenge. Alright, alright, let's get into it. Uh, looks like we are going to survive the winter. It's now late winter. I don't know if it's going to snow again or not. Probably not. We seem to have uh, kind of pulled out of the nosedive we were in, in terms of food. We had only four people starve to death. Only four people starve to death, so that's, uh, I guess, a good thing. So, what are my goals now? Well, it depends uh, if we are fully out of the woods, so to speak, or not. Um, I do have the Hunter's Lodge is in full production now, which is great. And the Gatherer's Hut's also doing really well, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm thinking about a new house over here, both in support of the Hunters, who are going to obviously have to walk a long way to work, and also because I want some new babies to be born to replace the four people that died. So I think the first thing I'm going to do this episode... Well, let's think about this here for a second. Let's see how much firewood we have. We can actually see that right here. Uh, I think that's going to last us through the tail end of the winter. I'm just noticing that I have a, a low amount of stored logs left. I've got six laborers, which is not a whole lot to work with. So what I think we're going to do... I'm trying to decide whether I want them to gather logs first or to deliver goods to a new house site first. That's kind of the decision that I'm thinking about. I think I want to get them to harvest these trees first. And I'm also thinking about a forester. That's a lot. That's a lot of work. They'll be able to do it. I'm thinking to maybe put a forester here or here, somewhere close to our main base. This was uh, recommended by uh, Dead Inside as an easy way to get trees. The only thing I'm sort of concerned about with is um, if I'm going to make a field down here, and I I'm thinking about maybe trying that, then that wouldn't work with a forester. On the other hand, we could put a forester pretty much anywhere up here, and it would work. So that's something to think about. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and unpause it, let them get some of this work done with the chopping of these trees. It's going to take a little while, considering there's only six of them. This is a hunter. But anyway, I don't think we're going to starve to death right now. We just had a new laborer start work. Nope, that was before, I guess. Okay. We're going to have to start thinking about clothing this episode as well, because we want to have clothing by next winter. And also iron tools would be really, really nice. So we're going to have to see if that happens or not uh, for us. I'm hoping that this four, these four deaths that we had, one of, was, one of which was a child, three of which were laborers. So I'm wanting to see if that sort of works out or not. Hmm. All right, I guess we'll we'll, uh, we'll find out. Just getting a little nervous here. This is what I do when I feel nervous. I just stop talking and click from building to building. But it looks like the temperature is going to start to rise from 35. So I guess there's not a whole lot to be nervous about right now. The amount of food we bring in is only going to get better at this point, although the barn is empty. We gotta start thinking about tools. It's not super high priority. Also, would love to have a um, one of those herbal gatherer people to help with health. I don't think that's a huge priority though. I think people will stay alive without that, uh, so far as I know. Could be wrong about that though. I'm glad I went with this instead of the house because you can see the amount of stored wood we have is starting to droop. And I might fire the woodcutter here for a little bit and turn them into a laborer. But it's going to get stuff to eat here. This house, who couldn't get any food for a long time, now has the best food in the whole village. I want to see how much they eat. He only ate 10. And he's... is he carrying it? it? Says he's visiting the herbalist, but we have no herbalist. So I don't know what that means exactly. Now that he ate, he's going to put his stuff over here. It's slow work, but I am I refuse stubbornly to turn up the speed because I know I will lose if I do that. <laughs> Alright, so the goal is 50 people, right? We're not really even close to that yet, but we did survive our first winter. Which is... Which is good. Really, really good. Nope, don't want to do that. Once we get a little stockpile of leather, we will consider building a tailor. But we need that house first, don't we? 
How much is that house going to cost us again? It would be nice to actually upgrade these houses as well to stone houses. That is a little expensive. 40 stone. Hmm. Some resources will be reclaimed. This is a, a bit different from the modded version. There's only one upgrade is the main difference. Temporary place for the homeless. Hmm. Okay, so are we ready to throw that house down? They still have a lot of work. I think I assigned them a little bit too much. Anyway, it's late spring, or early spring, rather. Let's not waste too much time. I think I'm going to throw down a field here. And I'm going to do it in such a way where it doesn't require any work to be done on it. I believe 11 by 11 is the established best size. And that way I can just instantly see, sorry about that, if I have any seeds. I do have cabbage and squash seeds. So I believe an 11 by 11 field, at least in the modded version, can be serviced by one farmer. So I'm going to go ahead and plant squash and assign that one farmer just to make damn sure we have enough food into the future. And I think we actually are going to have enough space. I mean, only for 50 people, there's not that much it's going to take to support them. Plus, we have space over here for stuff. We have some space over here that can be used. We have some space over here that can be used eventually. And, of course, we've got all this left. So, I think it's going to be okay. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the idea that I only have five laborers right now. And that's not enough to really do anything with. Huh. All right, anyway, should we turn the fire chopper off? We have enough fuel, huh? Yeah, we're going to turn you off, but we need to keep a real steady eye on this firewood because we don't want to get, like, super low. But I am glad to have that guy back in our labor pool. And I'm glad to have this crop being planted. That's going to keep us from starving. Now, I think we really need to see about another house and a tailor. But I'm just not really ready to do that until these trees get felled. I think I was a little bit over ambitious. I could cancel some of them. But I need the wood to build things anyway, so... I don't know. Let me think about this. I think they can get it done. Is there anywhere else I can pilfer some some workers from? I, I don't want to take it out of my food industry, obviously. And that's pretty much all we've got, really. We don't have any workers doing anything else. Alright, so we don't have any food in the barn, but I think people have... We are going to run out of potatoes, though. That's going to be a thing. When we run out of potatoes, it's going to be a little bit scarier. Because those potatoes have been our sort of backup... Actually, they're more like a staple. But people are bringing food these days. There's some roots coming. Some logs coming. And this is getting done. Slowly but surely. I think it's time to put the house down now. Let's put it right next to that one. Make sure it's, eh, it's a little bit too close to the hunting cabin, isn't it? Let's put it on this side, rather. Boom. Okay, so that's going to take some removal and some delivery from the workers before it actually gets done. And they're too busy doing this right now to help, so it's going to take a while on that house. But this is almost taken care of. Bringing us some berries. Slowly but surely, we will fell the, what is it, small strokes fell giant oaks? Isn't that how the saying goes? Alright, so we got 12 leather. I don't know how much, a, how, how many leathers, <laughs> which is a, a, not a countable noun, but I don't know how many pieces of leather, or animal hides rather, it takes to make a hide coat. But I guess we're going to be educated quite shortly. 
Almost done. Four more trees. Here she comes to get that one. So that'll be great. And then they'll start working on this. So we got we get 200 flat. That's kind of the basic we get from what we've got here. I think when we start to clear out these rocks and stuff, it'll be more efficient, I believe. And this provides a lot of food, man. Those those gather huts are awesome. I don't know. I'm still wondering whether a fishing wharf is worth it. Probably not. I think that this guy is going to get us quite a lot of food. That's what I'm hoping anyway. It is springtime though. We need to sort of get going here with some clothes. Well, why don't we throw it down anyway? And then hopefully something will... I mean, it'll at least get a, a, you know off to a start there. Uh, I suppose we could put it up against this hill if we wanted to. Eh. It needs to be close to the barn, right? So yeah, their space will become an issue at some point. If I go here, it'll have the added bonus that they'll they'll gra grab that iron for me. But I can't. There's a red splotch there. Nah, it's not gonna let me quite do it. All right. Let's just uh, throw it down right here, I guess. As close as we can to everything else, so that there's plenty of space. We've gotta maintain our space here. All right, that's gonna be a big project, obviously. But they will do it eventually. I say we probably shouldn't build anything else until the laborers have a chance. And let's see what the laborers are doing right now. She's going to work. She's gathering food. He's going to work. What is he going to work over here? Oh, he's probably just picking up something from, from one of these places. Well, that makes sense, I guess. All right, so we got 100 logs, plenty of firewood, stored stone, stored iron. We're going to need more of that eventually, but we've got... Plenty to work with right around our own little area. So that's fine. Here she comes. She's going to clear that area a little bit. And we'll have a new house up. Won't that be nice? And we'll get a little more wood out of it as well. It goes straight to firewood, huh? That's weird. That is weird. What's going on with that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Already got some stuff being delivered over here. That's nice. It's so close that all the basic work is going to get done really quickly. And I'll have to shift some, some builders before long. I'll probably put the builders in here first. Because I'd like to have a new baby. Oh, we already did have a baby born. Nice. Are we going to get more than 200 venison here? Or is that just all we're going to get? I don't know. 200 venison is nice, but I don't think it's going to feed the community. I'm glad we actually got this planted. Because that means when it comes fall, we'll have a large influx of food. At least large relative to um, to our needs. Still delivering logs. Still no actual food in the barn. <laughs> that is scary, but the houses have food anyway, so that's that's okay. And I believe venison, I mean, I we just saw the guy go get venison from his house, and he only ate 10. So, I guess venison probably stretches quite a long way. I don't know. Here she comes. We need more clearing done. So she's going to do a little bit of that. Looks like we got a new labor. Excellent. 
The tailor's coming together nicely. Are we going to have enough stone? We might not, actually. Oh, that sucks. We might have to stop him. Uh-oh, he's hungry. That's not good. Come on, go get those onions, man, before anybody else gets them. I guess we're still really not out of the woods. Yeah, stone we're going to be flat out of. All right, calm down, everybody. Calm down. It's going to be fine. He's bringing some food home. Okay. Bringing home the, the onions. Good job. I know it's not going to stretch super far, but... Don't worry. This farmer's going to gonna bring home the crops for us. It's all going to be fine. And we're going to need more stone to finish this. So I'm going to just carefully say grab that stone and that stone. That way it won't take them too long to do it. Looks like they got this cleared. They are going to also owe eight stone there, but we have enough logs. I'm going to have to shift some people into building here in just a second. Hmm. It's a little scary that this guy only has 16 onions. But surely someone's going to bring us some some delivery here before too long. Well, it's all up to you, farmer. Farmer Sandian. Oh god, your parents must have hated you. Everybody's super happy, which is weird because I don't have a graveyard, which is usually the requirement. Where do you live, Sandin? Uh-oh. He's going to take all the onions and this house isn't going to have food anymore. Is 10 enough to satiate a working farmer? 10 onions. Yep. He ate 10 onions for his lunch. He's still got iron tools, so that's good. They're going to start to wear out before too or run out, actually. We still have hide coats. We still have iron tools, so we're fine for a, a minute. Looks like those uh, stone got cleared away, but still not quite enough, maybe. I think someone's probably bringing one of those over there to that house, or eight of those, rather. So let's say get these as well when you get a chance. There's just too much work for you. We're almost ready for builders on this. I guess we'll assign a builder to that first, or... Hmm. Tough choices. What are you bringing us, Denzi? Bringing us some leather? All right. How are we doing on firewood? We're still great on firewood, actually. We had some stored food, but it just got taken away. Uh-oh. Out of food again. Don't starve before the crop comes in, man. We can always harvest immediately. Hmm. If we get in really bad trouble, I guess we could harvest immediately. Alright, this guy's almost ready for a builder. Almost. What are you bringing us? Stone. This is fun, man. This is a, a lot different kind of a game than than the um, mod that I usually play where it's sort of big scale. You're trying to get a huge population and it sort of gets boring because you get to a point where there's just nothing else to do. It's too easy, let's just face it. This being more of a challenge is actually more engaging than I thought it would be. So I'm really enjoying it. Anyways. I'm a little worried about this house and the people in it going hungry for too long. What is this? You brought all your food over here. Okay, maybe you're going to bring some food. Yeah, 100 venison. Give it to me. All right, that's going to keep us going for a while. Okay, we're in much better shape. <laughs> and then she ate a bunch of it too. <laughs> all right, fair enough. I'm going to bring some onions. And we've got a bit of a, oh, I was just about to say we had some stored up, but they took it away. All right, is it time for builders now? It is. Let's assign one builder to this this guy here. 
And yeah, okay, good. We could assign one builder here too. Is he gonna deliver the last of the stone? He is. Okay, let's go ahead and assign one builder here too. Uh oh. He actually went there. Let's let's do this. One is allowed to work here and one is allowed to work here. And that leaves us with five laborers. Okay. Fine. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I don't like the fact that we don't have any stone whatsoever. So I'm going to keep on working on that. Give me some more stone, please. Our wood is a little bit low, but I don't think we can do much about that right now. 400 venison. Even better, man. Even better. I think we're going to be okay for right now. Especially with this crop coming in, we're going to be great. That calls for some coffee. Mm. Okay, okay. We've had six hammers. This is going to be a quick build because... If she needs food or she needs to go home, she can just run back real quick and then she'll be back to work on it. It's going to be a super quick fix. And then we'll have both builders go for this one. Yeah, because she's going to be getting stuff to eat. So she's actually stopping to bring food to her house. And I assume also eat it, right? But yeah, we're very close to being out of coats. I assume a hide coat is good enough for right now. Later we'll want... I don't know. This Does the uh, vanilla version have cotton and stuff? I would guess it probably does. Dead Inside had also mentioned a trader being a good idea. At this point, it would be a little tough to get a trader because we're so far away from the river. Like, if we go to build one, it's going to take a long time. But yeah, trading would be amazing. Uh, particularly if I had anything to really trade, <laughs> which I don't right now, but I mean, I guess I could, firewood is always a pretty good thing to trade. I think it trades for four in the in the modded version. All right, they're clearing out that stone. Good. No one should be idle. She's going to go work. Hopefully she does more than just hit it once and, t and turn around and come back. 23 out of 24 out of 80. So this one's going to just be continuously worked. So we'll be able to finish that by fall, I think. And this crop's at 40%. We'll see how much food it actually produces. No food stored right now. But that venison is still helping us out. Yeah. Ooh. Not great. Not great stored amounts there. Especially with this new house coming up. They're going to want food too. Could be tough. I'm glad to see we're doing 400 venison though. Just doubled production suddenly. I don't know how that works. Anyway, this builder will eventually show up. I don't know what the hell, why the hell she's way over there. All right, get on that. 31. I hope we don't have idle laborers. We do. They should be picking stuff up. Some of them are idling. Okay, um, I'll make this easy on you guys. Why don't you just, why don't you grab that iron there? That'll do, do us some good. And grab that too. And while you're at it, you can get that stone and that stone. Good. Don't be idle, okay? She's there. She's working. Let's see how how long she works before she goes back for some food. Thirty-one. Where's our builder? Darius. Alright. We've got some berries stored up in the storage barn. I'm sure someone's going to nab those before too long, but I'm glad to have them anyway. How's our crop doing? 
All right, things are looking okay. We didn't make a whole lot of forward progress here this episode, but we sort of stabilized things, I feel like. Hey, we just got a new laborer, too. So we got eight people. Uh-oh, out of food. Go grab those berries, man. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will grab those berries. This is Marvis. Does Marvis live in this house? No. I'd like to upgrade some of these houses before winter time, but I don't see that happening. There's berries, man. Grab the berries, damn you. She's bringing stone. What are you doing? Finding a tool. She's gonna go steal one of our tools. The tailor's almost done. I'll probably finish the episode with the tailor being completed. All right, that venison. We need that venison. And we need these squash. We can always harvest them prematurely if we must. We'll get a, a, a much reduced yield that way, but I'm really glad I got this field planted. I think that's gonna work out a lot better. You didn't get the, the, the goddamn berries? Are you crazy, man? Hopefully these people don't starve to death. That would be really annoying. Here come some more berries. What are you doing? She's getting something to eat, even though she has a bunch of food I guess she's also transporting that food. Which is good. Looks like we got all this stuff cleared away. That's nice. We're getting this cleared away as well. Okay. Bring those berries. Hopefully the people in this house are smart enough to go get it. Before anyone else does. Got kids to feed, man. There she goes. Huh? Uh, now she's taking it back. I don't know what that was about. No! Put it in this house, goddammit! Oh, shit. <laughs> this might be a slightly long episode. I don't want to um, stop on this note. I want to make sure everything's okay. So we got hide coat out of leather, wool coats out of wood, warm coats out of leather plus wool. Okay, that's cool. So we'll start off with hide coats. We will assign one person there. He's going to make hide coats out of leather. That'll be fine. We've got firewood, plenty of it. Situation right now is I'm just a little worried about food. Here comes even more food. It's just a couple greedy houses taking all the damn food and making everyone else starve. Okay. This house is going to be okay for now. This house is going to be okay for now. She just put some food in there and they ate it instantly. Alright guys, well that's my cue to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dal Su and I will see you on the next one. Cheerio. Bye.